Hi everybody, this is a kit car that I keep on going on about, that's uh, less than a year old at the moment. It's been built by myself and my mate Dave. Uh, I keep on going on about it because I'm obviously proud of it. It's not the usual kit car, it's one where we've done a lot of additional manufacture ourselves. It looks just like a Tatum Westwood type vehicle, but it's actually a low cost, which is built from a book by Wrong Champion. Basically describes how you go about building your own car on a cheap budget. Uh, what we've done with this car is over the last four and a half years, we've basically built our own chassis, our own wishbones, our own roll bar, all our own bracketry. We've overhauled this engine that's in here, which is actually a 2 litre Pinto out of a Mark II Granada. We've got various other bits off of other cars here. We've got a Mark II Escort radiator, we have a Fiesta fan and the Sierra horns on the front. We've got a Honda Prelude battery tray, a Volkswagen Polo heater, an Escort water tank. We've just successfully fitted and got tuned up a set of twin 40 Webbers. Uh, we originally had it set up as a standard car after we rebuilt the engine. But after driving for six months we decided to have a play with these and put a fast road cam in it and an ejection head so it goes a bit better now. Just go around the back. We've got our own dashboard we made with a set of gauges we got hold of. A set of seven seats, which are nice and narrow to fit the car. An ob shaped steering wheel, so it makes it nice and easy to turn, otherwise the standard Sierra or round one hits the leg, so that's got a flat bottom on that one, although it's upside down at the moment. Moving back, we've got our own vinyl roof that's been rolled up at the moment as it's nice and sunny today which is Sunday the 8th of March today, 2009. Uh, our own spare wheel carrier panelling and the arches are the only things we didn't feel brave enough to make rather than spend thousands of hours of money we decided to acquire those professionally. It goes quite well, um, I haven't really had it out of the track yet but uh, just driving it around town on the old motorway drive, it more than puts a smile on your face. We're trying to do some track days, hopefully this year. This is why I've uh, just recently acquired the caravan, which we hope to make into a trailer. Uh, but yeah, it gives you a nice good kick, and I'd fully recommend it to anybody that's got to build a kit car, or would like to build a kit car, or even going out and buying one to try it out first of all. You have to go through quite a stringent SVA test, which is changing quite soon to a thing I believe called the IVA which is a little bit different which can quite, uh, normally includes about a four hour intensive MOT type testing where you look at the position of the wheels, sharp contact points, how many times the blinker goes, how high the lights are above the ground, various other points as well as the efficiency and the same as the machine. For most to get hold of this exhaust and the bonnet that's in the garage at the moment uh, second hand, it's a stainless steel exhaust which will cost us £500 we managed to get over for 250 and the bonnet thrown in as well we've also got a Sierra brake mask in on here just split the front up our own little grill we made on the third attempt but I would probably recommend anybody having a go on one of these, because it certainly gives you a buzz, puts a smile on your face. This year we hope to also go to the Bonnie Pageant, which is quite close to us, and possibly go up to a bigger kick car show than normal. We normally go to Detlin, which should be the first year this year. We've actually driven our car there. We've been dreaming up to now the last three years, and Stanley being the um, big one of the year is in May, uh, which is a stopover, so hopefully we're going to camp out and uh, have a bit of a laugh in the evening. That's it for now. Uh, I hope that at some stage you'll be able to put the camera on the roll bar. I've got a fabricated box to put it in and uh, maybe give you a little view of what it's like going down the road.